the afternoon session, we've got Roger Federer versus Del Potro. Now, Roger's won here the last two years. He takes this tournament very, very seriously. It's very close to his heart. Uh, Del Potro, of course, we know has got this big booming forehand. How are you looking at this matchup? I mean, fascinating because obviously Roger's had the better of uh, Juan Martin for most of the year. Um, but obviously, you know, Juan Martin won in Basel, 7-6 um, in the third. So he, he has that bit of confidence coming into this match that he didn't have before. I think that is slightly significant, although I do think the surface really does suit Roger. I feel as though his slice on this surface is deadly. He, he didn't serve his best in his previous match. He'll certainly be looking to try and sort of improve that and will need to improve it against Juan Martin. Um, but as you say, I think that you know Roger takes this event seriously. I think he, you know, he feels as though he's the best player indoors. So I am expecting him to come through, but obviously so much on the line at, at this particular tournament that there's always potential for, for Del Potro to come through. He's been the final before. You know, he knows his way around the tennis court pretty well. He certainly does. And in the other matchup that we've got, David Ferrer against Tipsy. Now, David Ferrer, before coming here, you know, in the form of his life, really, winning Valencia for a third time and then his first ever 1,000 title in, in Paris. What are you sort of making of the season that he's having and how these two could match up? Well, I, you know, I love watching David Ferrer. I mean, I think as a tennis player, as a, as a former tennis player, you can't not love watching somebody like that who just maximises his game, who's just incredibly humble, incredibly nice person alongside the fact that he's hugely successful and, as you say, having a career year. Um, has played some wonderful tennis already here um, and I do expect him obviously to get through against Tip Zarevich you know with the way that obviously Yanko's been feeling really more than anything else you know David's not going to give him any points out there he's going to make him work hard he's got an opportunity to get himself through to the semis David so uh, yeah, yeah as I say I mean it, it could well go to three if Yanko's had another sort of 48 hours to feel better but you expect David to win.